Leibniz theorem. Okay, so first you know the what is the Leibniz theorem, then after we solve the problem. Now, if y equal to u v, okay, two function uh, product of two functions where u and v are functions of x. Okay. Next. Now, so Leibniz theorem is d raised to n u v is equal to u v n plus n c one u one v n minus one plus n c two u two v n minus two plus n c three u three v n minus three plus so on last one is u n v so u is a polynomial of x is a polynomial now n c1 n c2 n c3 so combination you know the combination formula n c r equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial okay so n c1 n c1 is only n this part second term n c1 third term n c2 so n c2 is equal to n into n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial next n c3 n c3 so n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial so most of the problem we are using n c1 and n c2 only these two terms not necessary third one okay now observe that so observe that d raised to n means nth derivative and y2 and this is equal to you can write y n plus 2 d raised to n minus 1 y2 okay now see d raised to n minus 1 and y2 write y n plus 1 n minus 1 and 2 get y n plus 2 next d raised to n minus 2 and y2 d raised to n minus 2 and y2 only is y n so d raised to n plus 1 y2 is equal to d raised to n plus 1 plus 2 so n plus 3 y n plus 3 or one more d raised to n plus 1 only y I can write this one is n plus 1 y is a y n plus 1 exit okay now see the problem examples examples are if y is given y equal to sin of m into sin inverse x prove that 1 minus x square into y n plus 2 minus 2n plus 1 x y n plus 1 uh, plus m square minus n square y n equal to 0 you show that prove that this part okay now solution we have given y sine of m sine inverse x now see the question you prove that 1 minus x square into y of n plus 2 means differentiate y two times then go to the Leibniz theorem this one okay now first you differentiate with respect to x this become y1 differentiate sign is a cos cos of m sin inverse x 
again differentiate inside the bracket m is a constant as it is and sin inverse x standard formula 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square so this denominator part shift in left hand side that means a square root of 1 minus x square into y1 is equal to m cos of m sin inverse x one time is over so y n plus 2 so differentiate two times again you differentiate with respect to x now is a product rule so in this step we are not use the quotient rule okay so better shift to left hand side then use product rule again differentiate with respect to x using product rule u into v square root of 1 minus x square y1 differentiate you get y2 plus and root x square root of 1 minus x square differentiate you get 1 upon 2 into square root of 1 minus x square again minus x square differentiate minus 2x into y1 is as it is equal to m constant differentiate cos is minus sign minus sign of m sin inverse x again m sin inverse x m is as it is again sin inverse x is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square so better this denominator part square root of 1 minus x square multiply left hand side both the terms square root of 1 minus x square square root of 1 minus x square is a remaining 1 minus x square only root x into root x is x only same same case so y2 2 to cancel and root square root of this part shift in numerator cancel these two square root only remaining minus y1 as it is minus x remaining okay equal to m into m minus sin as it is m square remaining sin of m sin inverse x okay now therefore 1 minus x square y2 minus sin x y1 and this part is is a y given y so minus m square y shift left hand side plus m square y equal to 0 so two time difference it is over now you apply uh, you write this is equation number one differentiate equation number one with respect to x n times so n time means is a d raised to n 1 minus x square y2 minus d raised to n x y1 plus m square constant this is constant d raised to n y equal to 0 okay now we have Leibniz theorem so Leibniz theorem is d raised to u v equal to u v n plus n c 1 u 1 v n minus 1 plus n c 2 u 2 v n minus 2 plus so on okay so u means what is first one and this is a phi u phi okay now so using Leibniz theorem each term the first term is only first term applying Leibniz theorem so u 1 minus x square phi n uh, phi n is a y2 so phi n is you can write y n plus 2 
plus n c1 differentiate this one you get minus 2x again one step is reduce n minus 1 so y n plus 2 plus n c2 again minus 2x differentiate minus 2 u2 u u1 u2 these are a differentiate okay then uh, phi n minus 2 again one more step back uh, y n next is not possible is a constant 0 only first term minus second term x y n y1 now this one is x y n plus 1 now see this one second one this step so x y n plus 1 plus same using formula n c 1 differentiate x become 1 y n plus m square only one term is there y d raised to y means y n so m square y n equal to 0 and therefore 1 minus x square y n plus 2 plus n c 1 n c 1 only n only n minus 2 x y n plus 1 plus n c 2 n c 2 is a n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial means 2 only minus 2 y n next open the bracket x y n plus 1 um, again minus sign n c 1 only n y n and plus m square y n equal to 0 1 minus x square y n plus 2 now see minus 2 n x y n plus 1 now 2 to cancel minus sign so minus of n into n minus 1 y n minus x y n plus 1 minus n y n plus m square y n equal to 0 the first one is no change as it is right as same now second one is we take common x y n plus 1 so minus i'll take outside 2 n and plus 1 x y n plus 1 this second and third term then remaining this one minus n into n into y n so minus n square y n minus n into minus 1 into y n plus n y n minus n y n plus m square y n equal to 0 now both plus or minus get cancelled therefore 1 minus x square y n plus 2 minus 2n plus 1 into x y n plus 1 now y n is common i'll take y n common m square minus n square into y n equal to 0 so required answer